All right, now if you've ever wanted a good way to save a bit of money by going into your local butcher shop and buying yourself a whole primal, then this is a great one for you if you love pork. Now what we have here is a pork loin. Now they're pretty similar to a lamb backstrap, obviously a little bit bigger, and then the same as a porterhouse or a strip loin in beef. Now they're really versatile, they're a great option to go for if you're gonna buy a whole primal because they're not overly fatty and they're nice and easy. They're pretty much slicing for dummies, these ones. All you have to do is lay them lean side down, fat up, and then basically slice left to right or right to left, whatever suits you. Now I'm just gonna take a face cut off this one just to square it up, but if you're doing it at home, you don't need to square it up, there's no need. And then it's just a matter of slicing them as thick or as thin as you'd like. You can really see how lean this cut is. It's a great one, you don't have to use it as a steak. You can even trim that fat off or leave the fat on and dice it, put it on skewers. They're extremely versatile. Now for me personally, I like to slice them out the equivalent as what you would a porterhouse or a scotch in beef. So they're nice and thick and it's just a genuine steak. And then halfway down there, I like to butterfly some just so I can get some natural schnitzels. And then you can either bash them out with a mallet or just leave them as is if you like them a bit thicker. You can also, instead of butterflying them, you can just slice them straight through and get yourself some pork barbecue steak. And like I said, they are extremely versatile. So instead of slicing them out into steaks or into schnitzels like I am here, you can even just dice them up and get them get away with using it almost like a replica burnt end. So instead of using the belly, you're gonna use the loin. Now with the cost of living going through the absolute roof at the moment, groceries is something that everyone's trying to cut back on and buying whole loins, whether that be a pork loin or even a whole scotch if you like your beef, it's gonna be a bit of a bulk cost to you in one hit, but if you save up and then get that, it's gonna save you a bit of money over the long run. So it's something I'd really recommend going into your local butcher shop and just hit them up, ask what they've got, ask what the prices are. They may even slice it all out for you, vacuum seal it down so you can pop it in the freezer. But if you do want to trim it up yourself at home, you can see how simple it is with a loin. A lot of people aren't going to trim this fat off. Personally, if I was doing this for myself at home, I wouldn't trim any of this fat off. Fat is flavor, I'd leave it on there. And if you don't like it, trim it off once it's cooked. And you can see here how easy it is to trim up schnitzels as well. A lot of people are going to leave that fat on, which is completely fine. If you do trim the fat off, I'd recommend saving it, put it in a Ziploc bag, or if you've got a vacuum seal bag, seal it up, put it in the freezer. You might be able to reuse it in the future for smash burgers or even put it into some sausages. So do yourself a favor, head on into your local butcher shop, buy yourself a whole pork loin, take it home, slice it out yourself, bag it up, vacuum seal it, pop it in the freezer. You'll thank me later for it. You'll save a fair bit of money in the long run. This does definitely add up over a 12 month period. So give it a crack this weekend. Go and buy yourself a loin and slice it all out yourself at home.